Welcome to MMA with Yak and Jay right here on BrawlersTV.com. I'm the Yak Man, Ron Yakovetti. To my left, Mr. Randy J. How we doing? You want to say your name? Go ahead. Hey, Randy You know it better than I do. <laughs> and with us today, giving us some credibility here, uh, a fighter you've seen and you, you got to know and like from The Ultimate Fighter Season 5, right? Yep, with BJ Penn. With BJ Penn is Manny Manville Gamburian. Manny, how Manny, are we thanks, doing, thanks man? Thanks for coming and uh, sitting down with us today. Appreciate it very much. So, um, people who saw the show, if, if they at least watch UFC, they're going to know who you are. You're definitely one of the rising prospects in the sport, in the UFC, at the 155 division. Uh, let people know your last fight was uh, with Rob Emerson. What have you been doing since that fight? What did you learn from it? And where are you headed? Well, from my last fight, not that I haven't learned anything. It's just I got caught in like a couple seconds, you know, right out the bat. That was my game plan. My game plan was, you know, just square for them a little bit, just go square and just throw a couple of punches. Try to take him down if I can. If not, I was going to, you know, box with him a little bit and then go for a takedown and just go submit him. But I guess it didn't happen, but not that I haven't learned anything, but every, every time you fight, every time you train, you learn something. Every day I woke up, you know, I learned something new. So at that fight, I learned how to keep my hands up and be more focused. You know, every time I fight, I don't care who I fight. In my heart, I know that I'm gonna beat the guy. If if I the way I train, the way I just focus, it's it's like totally different than any other, any other fighter. Cause I don't care if I fight BJ Penn or I fight Rob Emerson. The mentality is the same with me. I'm gonna beat. If I'm training for you, that means I'm going for the win. And you, I guess you got to. I mean, yeah. I mean, you're in a weight class where in the UFC, light heavyweight was considered at one time the best. I mean, they they had all the stars in that weight class. 155 now. Deep has got to be the toughest weight class Deep. right now. It's just too many good talents over there. I mean, I would never, I couldn't even be in 150. I, I weigh 200 pounds, I couldn't even fight in a 155. <laughs> I, I have to fight like in a 60 pound weight class, like with midgets or something like that. That's the only way I would actually fight in the UFC right now. But how do you go about training for, uh, you know, someone like a BJ Penn, someone like, you know, anybody in that whole 155 weight class. Yeah, I, the upper class guys, how do you approach a fight with a, 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 like a high level, you think a high profile well, what fight? what I'm saying is, I mean, you know, every single one of those fighters in the 155 class, including yourself, is so rounded. Yeah. That how do you go, you know, it's not like maybe two, three years ago where, okay, I gotta just study my ground game because, you know, it needs a little work on. I mean, you've gotta train. Rounded now, everybody, you peak and I'll tell you, Everybody's good in this weight class, you know. It's the best weight weight class in the world right now, even in the world. Look at, I mean, look at Dream. Anywhere you go, it's beautiful. It's, it's like too many competition, and it's all good quality guys. Is there anybody in Dream that you would want to take on if you had a chance, just for like the yeah, for the challenge of it? Go me. He has the biggest name out there, you know. Yeah. He's like one of the best fighters in the world, hands down. He's really good and tough. But I like to challenge myself. You know? uh, how did you actually get started in fighting? How did Man, he just say, hey, one day he say, yeah, I'm just gonna oh, start. It's a long story, you know. When I was when I was a kid in Armenia, I was a very hyper kid, like very crazy. I was I used to fight like big guys and this and that. I was like I was trying to drive a car or a motorcycle when I was like four or five years old. I was trying to, you know, I was a very bad kid. I used to fight every single day with my neighbors, my friends. So when I came to the United States, it was 1990, 91, I, yeah, 91 of May. You know, when I came over here, my dad said, you know, I know I was 10 years old. He goes, you're a pretty big boy now, you know. I think you should do some sports or what do you want to do? I told my dad, first of all, I'm like, I want to do, I want to play soccer. I always loved soccer. I always like, loved it. He goes, okay, well, find a place and I'll hook you up and go. And then all of a sudden, Carlos' family came over to my house, you know, that came from Armenia to see us and this and that. And Carlos, that's, you know, you should go show with Carlos. 